Hello everyone, welcome to my Laravel course. In this video series, we're gonna be covering all the basic information you need to know to start building your own Laravel applications. So let's get started, I'm super excited. Uh, first of all, what is Laravel? If you guys don't know, I assume you guys already know. Basically, Laravel is a free and open source PHP framework. So it's built on top of PHP and it allows us to build basically anything you can do with PHP, but faster, better, more secure and easier, right? So now it was initially created by Taylor Otwell. And as of now, I think July 2023, we are on version 10. So we are on a year re yearly release. So next year, I think on February, we will have Laravel 11. But the same concepts will probably apply. Uh, there hasn't been any breaking changes, I think, from since Laravel 7, as far as I know, maybe even Laravel 6. You know, if you watch old courses, majority of the concepts are similar. There is some slight changes, but the course should still be useful even by Laravel 11. I hope so. And yeah, so what are some kind of good benefits about Laravel? Why should you learn it? How does it help? First of all, it has phenomenal support great community, phenomenal documentation, one of the best documentations for any framework I have personally used. And, you know, there are lots of people out there in different communities that are willing to help you out if you're stuck on an issue, which is great. Uh, it helps you improve the security of your application. So out the box, Laravel solves many of the common security issues that basically web applications have. So such as, for example, SQL injection, you don't need to worry about that. With Laravel, it's very easy to build APIs if that is something you need to do for your project or your application. Very easy to do with Laravel, especially if you want to kind of add security on top of that. You can easily do that with Laravel in a few minutes. Easily, it allows you to easily interact with database. So if that is something you want to do, uh, you can easily do with Laravel. Uh, next up is it speeds up your development time, like by a massive amount. I want to say like 10 times faster, but that's a bit exaggerated, but I think usually you're gonna build your applications two to three times faster with Laravel than if you were to use, for example, just PHP. So that's why I personally like it. You can easily build you know, complex applications and prototypes looking, using Laravel. It's just phenomenal, especially at the more advanced your application becomes and more complicated it is. Uh, very easy to do email integration. That's another benefit. Uh, I really like that about Laravel. It's extremely easy to send emails, honestly. It's phenomenal. You can use queues. All of that are easily managed with Laravel. Uh, I personally really like that. And then it has hundreds and dozens more benefits. Uh, I'm not going to list all of them here. You will learn more about them as we go throughout the course. It's a phenomenal framework. You're going to love Laravel. It's fantastic. All right. Now, some requirements about this course. I expect you guys to already be familiar with PHP. You don't need to be an expert, but I assume you guys know the basics basic database understanding, what is a relational database, very basic SQL, you don't need to be a SQL master again, very simple stuff. At least I assume you guys have created one database before, right? So you know that. Uh, basic HTML and CSS, I think with HTML, uh, it's very easy with CSS, you don't need to know a lot about it, just know how to basically do simple styles and also how kind of you can add classes and IDs to HTML. We're not gonna be writing any HTML or CSS in this course. I have prepared a template for you guys. We're gonna be using the template. So I just want to make sure you guys don't get confused while we're using the template. So having some HTML and CSS knowledge will be greatly beneficial. And last but not least is gonna be object-oriented programming with PHP. So you need to know some OOP concepts before you follow this course at least be familiar with classes, what is a class, how to create a class, different kind of topics surrounding that, right? So I will be covering it a little bit, but it's better to be familiar with it beforehand, all right? Otherwise, you're going to have a harder time. Unless you already are familiar with, you know, some different program language and you have prior experience, if you're a complete beginner, definitely make sure you are, you know, you know all of these topics. Otherwise, you're going to have a harder time following the course. And if you have any questions, always you can ask me in the comment section below. All right, so now that we have covered the requirements, let's see what we are going to build. So throughout this course, we're going to be building a Twitter clone. I thought it'd be fun with the you know Twitter and Meta stuff going on right now. We build our own simplified version of Twitter. So basically, the way it works is uh, it's called Ideas. You're going to be able to 
you know, share your own ideas here. One plus three equals seven. Think about that. Uh, you're going to be able to search ideas if you want. Uh, we have pagination, which is very easy to do with Laravel. Uh, we're going to have authentication. So you're able to log in. You're going to be able to register all that. So we're going to give you guys all of those stuff. How to log out. We're going to be able to follow people, unfollow them. Uh, you're going to be able to post comments. So we're going to be building all the functionality in this application. And I think project-based learning is the best way to go about it. You're going to learn how to actually build a real world project. And by the end of the course, you're going to have a fully made project, which you can put on your resume or CV or, you know, uh, just gives you more confidence. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer all of your guys' questions as much as I can. And yeah, I see you guys on the next episode. See you. Bye.